Hi yeah, I have a physics puzzle for you. Say I throw a ball vertically upward, so that it leaves my hand with an initial speed of U. And it reaches the height of H. Say now I throw the ball harder, so that it leaves my hand with the speed of 2U. Now, how high will it reach this time? It'll go even higher, of course. Yes, I know, but um, exactly how much higher is it going to be? 2H, 3H, or 4H? Hmm, let me think about it. Alright, is everyone ready for the answer? I have two ways to solve this problem. The first way is boring, the second one more interesting and more elegant. Let's start with the boring way, which is to apply the equation of motion v squared equals to u squared plus 2as at the point where the ball reaches the maximum height. At this position, the velocity is of course 0 and the displacement will be the maximum height h. Since the acceleration is downward and we have chosen our sign convention to be upward positive, the downward acceleration of g will have to be written as negative g. With this we get the expression h is equal to u squared divided by 2g. What this tells us is the maximum height of a vertical throw is directly proportional to the square of the initial speed. So if the initial speed is doubled, the maximum height will be 4 times. So this is the boring way. I'm going to show you the interesting way, which is to sketch the velocity time graph of the vertical throw. The vertical throw that started out with an initial speed of u will look like this. And this is the point in time when it reaches the maximum height because this when its vertical velocity reaches zero. The VT graph for the vertical throw that started out with an initial speed of 2u will look like this. What's important is these two lines have the same gradient since both of them are decelerating at the rate of g. And this is the point where the second ball reaches the maximum height. Now remember the area under the VT graph represents displacement. So this triangular area here will represent the maximum height reached by the first ball. Whereas this area here will represent the maximum height reached by the second ball. Now can you see that this area is 4 times this area. So that's it. If you double the initial speed, the maximum height reached will become 4 times. I get it. Normally, if something travels at 2 times the speed, it will travel 2 times the distance. But for a vertical throw, if you start off twice as fast, you also get to travel for 2 times the amount of time before you are brought to rest. Twice the speed for twice the time. 4 times! 